It's not about how you feel, but what you provide inside that home. Welcome to the man. Today I'm gonna check out a new artist that I've never really listened to before. I'm gonna listen to Dax. I keep hearing Dax's name thrown around in really good communities. So I've got a lot of hope for this guy. I don't know anything about him and uh, all I know is what I've seen in the comments. But I keep seeing his name pop up in the comments so it's time that I check him out. I'm gonna listen to his newer song. It's called To Be A Man which is kind of fitting for this channel oddly enough. But I'm gonna check out To Be A Man by Dax. Let's get into it. What score will To Be A Man get on Dax's debut on The Man? Let's go. I can't hide myself. I don't expect you to understand. I just hope I can explain what it's like to be a man. It's a lonely road And they don't care about what you know It's not about how you feel But what you provide inside that home Yeah I know this life can really beat you down You wanna scream but you won't make a sound Got so much weight that you've been holding But won't show any emotion As a man that goes and spoke now we can't cry when life gets hard it's unspoken that you can't cry can't be sensitive can't feel emotion can't show your feelings men are on a tightrope and it really is a balancing act on one side you have emotions and being sensitive showing all those things but then you're going to be considered as weak by the world on the other side you have the opposite Never showing emotion, never showing feelings, never telling people how you really feel inside. But if you do that, well, you're toxically masculine. Right now, this next generation of boys is in an absolute crisis. Men commit suicide at a four times higher rate than women. And you can't say there's no reason for that. The way the society is pushing away masculinity as being a bad thing. The things that men are naturally designed to do, pushing those things away, kids are being told that that's wrong? That's a crisis. Hard, unconditional love for women, children, and dogs. We know that we just have to play our parts, and don't nobody give a damn about our broken hearts. Yeah. As a man, we gotta pave our way. Our only function is to work and slave. There's no respect for you if you ain't paid You're disregarded as a human and you can't complain And if you ever make it up and actually reach that place And find a woman that you love and give her your last name You'll feel the things that you provide is only why she stays And when you try to explain, you'll say I can't hide mine I don't completely agree. I think there are really, really, really good women out there. And I think those women can make you feel like your worth is beyond what you provide. Um, but a lot of times that's something, a battle we have in our own selves, with our own selves. We feel like all our only purpose is to provide. And if we don't do that, we've fallen short. How many men are out there going on their day-to-day -day routine and just feeling empty and alone and by themselves? A lot of times, the, the world's women right now would have it that your worth is based on your success, your money, your monetary value, and probably your looks as well. So if you're not super successful and if you don't look super good by the world standards, you're probably going to be feeling down in the dumps. That's the reason why there's a major crisis right now. The world is, I mean, <laughs> for lack of better words, the world and society is taking a crap on men. And they, they are absolutely in a crisis. I don't expect you to understand. I just hope I can explain what it's like to be a man. It's a lonely road. And they don't care about what you know. It's not about how you feel, but what you provide inside. As a man, our sun is our horizon. 
And our father's actions play a role and we end up like them So they can't let us see them hurt Cause we'll embody what they do and start a generational curse No wonder most men are so depressed All the things that they can't express They go to war, get thrown on the shelf Then go back to war with their mental health Then grab that bottle and ask for help Try to pull themselves out of hell Then fall back down and then realize That they gon' have to do it themselves It's the circle of life as a man That's why we feel we can't hide ourselves We don't expect you to understand We just hope we can explain What it's like to be a man It's a lonely The only hope for the generations to come Are the good, solid men out there Still being amazing fathers, amazing husbands Fighting the fight and ignoring all the noise. Ignore the noise that says you can't be masculine. You can't raise your kids to be masculine. Because that is the only hope the next generations have. Because there's a generational cycle. When you start your children on the wrong path. Well what are they going to do? They're going to start their children on likely an even worse path. That cycle is never ending. It's what creates terrible generations and terrible times. There's a saying, you've probably heard it, good men, good men create good times, good times create weak men, and weak men create hard times, hard times once again create good men, it's a full circle, I think we're at the cycle of kind of hard times right now, I'm hoping these hard times are going to create some really good strong men, keep fighting though, if you're a father, keep fighting, it's worth it. That was to be a man by Dax. And to me, that's one of the most important, powerful messages that you could put out right now. The world right now is making men out to be complete fools and idiots. Look at the popular TV shows and cartoons out there. The popular sitcoms. Men are made out to be fools. And especially older men right now. I think older men, and particularly veterans, people who have fought for this country, they should be being lifted up and encouraged. The ones that are fathers, husbands, driving oil rigs across the country. You know, working on the oil field, doing construction, building houses, putting food on your table. The farmers, the ranchers, they should be being lifted up, but they're being stepped on and made to be like the bottom class citizens when really they're the backbone of our economy. I think it's very important that women hear this message as well, because right now society is telling women that men are just superficial and into this hookup culture, and I just don't think it's true. There are very, very bad, terrible men out there, and there are very, very bad, terrible women as well. But on the contrary, there's also really good men and really good women. There's men that are looking for a caring, loving woman, and vice versa, women that are looking for caring, loving men. And I think right now, men are just too scared to even approach a woman or pursue a relationship because they're told by this social media culture that it's wrong. Moving on from the rant, I do apologize, I ranted for a little bit there. What score does To Be A Man get from the man? I really did appreciate the messaging. I like songs that have a lot of, you know, depth and actual subject material. A lot of the mainstream garbage out there is just completely shallow and pointless, and I really like songs that have actual content and substance to them. This song was very substantive. I really liked the video. Um, his writing was phenomenal. But if I have to be honest, I don't know how I feel about the vocals. I'm not sure if it was autotune. I'm really not a big fan of autotune. But I don't know for sure. I definitely have to see more of his music to know if he uses autotune. But for that reason, I can't give it a top, you know, 10 or a 9. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 for a really good score on Dax's debut. But 
I'm looking forward to hearing more from Dax. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a comment below and let me know what song that I'm going to react to next. I'd love to have some conversations with y'all in the comments about this subject. Tell me if you think I'm completely off base and off my rocker. I can take some criticism. I just think it might be constructive to have some conversations with the community and, and see what y'all think about it. So feel free. Tell me whatever you think. Call me an idiot if you think I'm an idiot. I can take it. The man out.